And it's impressive to see how much GM Lordstown has become a part of the Valley over the years. At one time, more than 600 suppliers to this plant. Now, and over 14,000 workers, too. Certainly that number has gone down. They're building the car. It's got simpler to do, too. But there's still a huge economic impact, impact in the Valley from this plant where it can be noticed is among those um, dollars that trickle down to spending locally, and that is especially in Lordstown near this plant, too. Summer shut down. Earl Ross Summer was just down. 21 years old when he opened Ross's Eatery and Pub along Todd Avenue, and he quickly learned what it would take to be successful. Long business hours, 6 a.m. till 2.30 in the morning, six days a week, to try to catch all three shifts of General Motors. That's a longer day than most restaurants and bars. Ross's is the last place GM workers see before turning into the plant entrance and the first place out after work. It's been a recipe for success since opening in 1997. 60% uh, of my business, I would say, probably is generated through General Motors or people supplying parts to them. That's a huge chunk of change coming from one group of people. Earl Ross notices when there's a change at GM, such as the summer and Christmas shutdowns, or like recently when there were work stoppages due to a shortage of parts. Uh, it's a light switch. I've seen it when they have shut down, and it's a light switch for me. I have to adjust my business hours, I cut staff immediately. How are you? 18 years of business, which Earl Ross credits to just good word of mouth advertising. He knows the workers' time is important, so he tries not to make any mistakes. 20 minute lunches for them are very short. So specializing deliveries to the plant, uh, that's a big deal now that they went to 20 minute lunches. Nisa's Country Cafe is two miles away on Salt Springs Road. It just opened two years ago and learned the sweet spot of being near the assembly plant. We zigged quickly to make deliveries to the plant. Uh, a lot of the departments didn't know we delivered. So nieces always make sure to have a special or two on the signboard so that the workers will know before heading into the plant. Yes, every quarter of every dollar we make here is just from deliveries to the plant. That makes the kitchen a busy place. Denise Moss told me the sales numbers are growing every day. Nieces did 68 grand in carryout sales last year, which is roughly $188 a day. Year to date, that number is improving. Judging by the number of people I talk to and the customer flow and coming and outgoing, I'd say it impacts us quite a bit. Nieces has talked about some of the improvements it wants to make already because of the business it gets from GM Lordstown. And I'm sure that the everyone here, as they're working hard on the line, they get hungry, right? So mm -hmm. this is a great opportunity and something that's close by.